You are speaking freely. You are breathing freely. Say, my neighbor. You are talking freely. You are sitting freely. You are laughing freely. It is the grace of Jesus. Say, it is by grace. Say, it is by grace. Say, it is by grace. Let your hands Ah, sit down. Hallelujah. Like I said, there's somebody that I want to honor today. Because I saw him and I know him. We don't do that in this church, you know. Most often, we just come sit have service and go. But the Bible says, give credit where credit is due. So I just saw my lovely apostle go by here. Praise and I don't know what the Lord is doing because these days I've been thinking about him. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> So, Baba, I'll just say, please, just stand and greet us with those few words. We shall be at peace. Thank you, Mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hand wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's give the Lord a hands of praise once more. So today I feel very great and uh, I'm honored to stand here and greet you in the name of Jesus. It has been a long time me not coming here to see my friend. So many things had happened and uh, since we parted ways. And uh, if I can start telling you about me, it's a long story sometimes. And uh, so this morning, the Lord spoke to me that I should come here and fellowship just to see him. Yes, we are here in the kingdom of Eswatini for a meeting. So Sunday is the day of the Lord where everyone should come and worship him. Sunday was never made to ask. No, it's to worship. Those who think that coming here is your chance to ask, no, you are wrong. I know so many people come with a long prayer request on Sundays. No, Sunday is for worship only. How great is he? Only if you want to bring your request to God, go back to your house, just close your door. Now you can begin telling God whatever you want to offer. And uh, He will come and whisper in your ears, telling you everything that your prayer requests have been accepted. But Sunday, right from the service, okay, right the service when starts, we worship him until the end. That's what God wants. 
Sunday was made for that. So to those who might not know me, and as a hot man, it is not wise for me to say San Bonan and sit down, you know. No, I have to tell you who am I. And uh, I'm not a pastor. Uh, I am a man of God. And I've seen quite a number of things uh, along the way. All of these things are, are the evidence that God is alive. I've went through trials, persecutions and everything. For that, I'm good to advise you who are still and suffering. Praise the Lord. Because I was called to listen to God. The only thing I should do is to listen. I left Mpumalanga long, long ago. Now I am in KZN. That's where I finish started the great move with God. And uh, I'm doing the work of God there. My friend, the man of God, uh, whom I love so much, knows me uh, staying at Mpumalanga province in South Africa. And I'm no more there. But KZN is my destination. That's God I know. The God who anointed the angel of this house is the very same God who anointed Bo Moses and the, and the rest. I have no doubt about his calling. I know. People might say whatever they want to say. But he is an anointed man of God. You people who are privileged to serve around him you are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a following a man with purpose. He knows where he's getting to. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I don't doubt him. When I think about him, I sleep. Uh, because I believe the God who led Moses will also let him, lead him. But there is one thing I want to uh, bring to you before I sit down. God met Moses in the wilderness. There was a burning bush. And Moses turned to, to see what was happening. And at the same time, there was a voice. Right from the fire. Moses, Moses. Thou shalt not step close to this place because it's a holy ground. Take off your shoes. Yes, Moses knew the issue of taking off the shoes. It was a culture in Israel. Whenever you buy something, there must something to be exchanged. We used to, uh, to, to, to give a guy by a lady, look, whenever you love that guy. Give look. Uh -huh. But Israelites, whenever you are taken in, 
You have to take off your shoes. That's why Moses left the shoes there. But there was an argument from Moses and God. So Moses tried to question God. That question caused him not to see the promised land. God explained everything. I am God of your father. I mean Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am that God. Go to Israel. I've heard everything that caused a lot of suffering to my children. Now Moses tried to check what kind of a God. As soon as I arrived there, the people will ask me, what kind of a God sent you here? That was wrong. Because the Hebrew in Egypt, they already worshipped the God of Abraham. They knew everything about God of Abraham. Another thing God said to him, go there, and he said, the people will never believe me. And they touched the issue of eloquence. The issue of eloquence. He does not, he is not a man who speaks fluently so. It was wrong. Because God knows us all here. It's God who created people with inability. Now when God said go, he's sending you to people whom you know and they know you. But Moses demands somebody like an interpreter. And God said, okay, you want to interpret? That is your brother Aaron. And that Aaron turned to be a thorn to Moses. Now, because he was, he was an interpreter, the Israelites or the Hebrews, they, they knew nothing from Moses. Everything they had, it was from Aaron. That was dangerous. So many ministers died as a result of that. What God say, Yay, Tulane, go there. Go and liberate Emaswat. Don't need somebody next to you. Because the people will know better the, the one than you. That's where Moses dang his grave. And Miriam, the elder sister, hijacked Aaron. Every time Moses went to the mountain, and a God gave him something along the way to people he had to tell Aaron everything and Aaron went to people if God trusted you Baba Damini be careful of people whom you uh, give a lot of responsibility it's good to delegate but make sure that the people know God through you hallelujah hallelujah weak as you are do your work 
Miriam came with a strategy. Miriam was a questioning the leadership of Moses. Is it God called this this is Ubugal protocol side to lead the, the Hebrew? I Miriam. I am a prophet. You prophet. For quite a long time. Not this protocol son. I learn what I learn. Number two. Where's B? This protocol son. Learn what I learn. Left us to be at one media. Yes, she. Now he comes back. Nyalo so ya bud. Claiming to be lead. So to be done, I'm hold. And he's married a wrong woman, a black woman from somewhere to be a old. Sudan. Now Miriam and Aaron. Miriam Aaron They question all this. And they complain in the presence of the army of God. The issue of marriage is between God and the youth. Not other people. Once you question such things, you are touching God Himself. So And a God had to come down from heaven. Miriam, Aaron. Miriam na Aaron. Yes, we are land So I want to deal with you. You know. If I raise a prophet, the only way to talk to him is by dreams and visions. But never with my servant Moses. When I come to him, I speak to him face to face. But you are not afraid. God and sad. To gossip myself around the whole world. There is no man like him. He's the most humble man. Whatever he does, he might be a man who is not eloquent in talking. Ah, 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 ah. But to me, it's my favorite. I'm going to punish you. The servant of God is his rep here on earth. Now, because of time, the man said, I must greet you. You know, a cow eats grass. You can take it by train, but as you open it up to come out, we keep it. Think about grass. When I look at you and uh, I see the grass, you are the work of the Lord. You are the church. But don't look down upon yourself. Moses say, say Who am I? Such that I can go to Pharaoh. God knows you. Some will say, last week I was in love with a certain woman. Uh, me, I'm not right, you. I used to drink, I, I'm dead. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Stop talking about your weakness. God is God. Is the God who takes the weakest thing? To despise the wise. Go and do the work of God. You. Stop talking about yourself. I know that you are full of sins. Stop this. But do the work of God. The church is coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. So thank you very much. I love you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Wow. Hallelujah. Fire. Listen. I didn't meet him. Today. 
last year or last month. It's the first time I'm seeing men of God. But some of these things that you spoke of, it's like we met before and said, yeah, you know, you must tell them this and this and this. Never. And that is how God works. That is how the Spirit of God works. Let's stand on our feet. Bless you.